Hey Earth Signs, it's Lulu and today I'm going to do your Mudra reading. Thank you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you know how the placement works in your chart. Thank you. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love, my feet tingling, and support. Thank you. My tongue is the color of turmeric, just in case y'all see it, because I just took B12 to kind of dissolve under your tongue, and it worked its way on top of my tongue, whatever. Um, you can pick up the 90-day journey to mindfulness. This helps you become more mindful, present, and aware. This assists you with um, picking up your own patterns of behavior. This puts you in a space of gratitude more, more so than anything. Um, is one of the biggest things that it brings you into. It helps you to center. helps you to get in tune with your star player. You can follow the uh, Tools for Intuitives YouTube channel. <clears throat> I created that out of nowhere, so there it is. So that we won't mix the reading side with the let's work on ourselves for real, for real. So that's for people who really want to work on themselves, really want to do the work. Um, just go over there. Or you can subscribe to the Tools for Intuitives website. At any rate, you can pick the journal up at thehouseofoshun.com. Thank you. Now, what's going on with the earth signs, honey? What did I miss? Any information that you need will be in the description box. Thank you. Let's see here. We are going into a new year. Kicking into a new gear. The one thing that you should be aware of is that there will be massive changes. Every day, every moment, it's always some type of change. Change of mind, change of direction, change of organizational structures. There's a lot of changes, right? And it's the changes that you make within yourself on a moment-by-moment -moment basis that really counts the most. Because those changes that you make, everything that you change within yourself, things outside of you will begin to change. And you are changing things for those, for generations to come. Changing the dynamic of your relationships with your family and your friends. Change, just change. Just get a lot of change, okay? So let's see what's going on. What do you have for the earth signs? Whatever. They ready, honey. You got two cords. Opening and the crown chakra. I don't know if I've, uh, out of the time that I've been doing the mudra readings, if I've seen opening come out. I don't think so. It's first time for everything. <laughs> it's a virgin type of situation. So let's break that uh, opening cord in. Is that inappropriate? It's out there. Now, so you have those two, right? So, Many of you with this opening card, I feel like you have come to a space here or coming into a space where you're real, realizing your individuality, realizing a new direction, but taking time out to really assess um, what really needs to end and what you are beginning on your journey. Uh, okay. It feels like things are coming together slowly for you. What you used to want or what you used to desire, those things have changed. It's like you maybe um, did some road opener work or it just happened naturally like it, it will. It'll happen naturally as long as you show up for yourself. Try not to have allow people to push you into things before you really process and, and um, process what's going on. Process your moves, they said. Try not to skip steps because eventually, no matter what, you'll still have to go through certain things. So try not to skip certain steps here. <clears throat> I also feel that some of you may have um, had a change of heart when it comes to a certain connection and you are finally ready. Either you are ready to take a relationship further or you are connecting with someone who is a soulmate, right? or someone who, you, you connected. You ain't gotta put no label on it, you connected with them. And you're ready to make this happen. This is a joining of forces. This is resonant uh, energy. It's a little heart right here where I'm pointing. And both of these fingers are pointing up at that heart. You may, the two of you may have some of the same types of um, goals, 
right? Your goals intertwine and you've never been through that before or someone in your energy is stepping forward now that you are on this journey um, in this space of learning your unique abilities, your unique talents, what you can bring to the world, right? Maybe dealing with someone who has a lot of Aquarius energy. Here. See? Um, I feel like between the two of you, between you and someone else, um, it could be a friend, it could be anyone. So, one person has been through more than the other, so they are, you are being taught, between the two of you, someone is being taught about love. Maybe it's love that you didn't, you've never experienced or you didn't know how, what love felt like, what love looked like, and now someone is showing you. This is a lot of love energy. This is a lot of bonding. You may even sleep uh, with one another and cross uh, legs with this person, which um, when you are touching someone, when you are asleep, you especially if you forehead to forehead, right? Or if you're breathing in their pheromones or even just their nose breath. Yeah, I know how I feel about that. I'm gonna let it go. No, it's a good thing. That's what you need to know. Um, So there's a, a strong connection between the two of you. You sometimes are inseparable, but this is this is showing you there may be some shadow work <clears throat> that will come up, that will come to, um, that will surface, right? Some things that both of you may have repressed. Um, it will <clears throat> bring you closer together because there's also a heart above that as well. So this is going to bring you closer together. This is going to um, have you in a space bring you to a space of um, interconnectedness, if that makes sense. Now, I do feel that one of you may be slim and the other person may be a little bigger than the other. So I feel like the person has a lot of love to give. They may be more mindful, present, and aware than the person who, that it doesn't have to do with the weight, but I'm going with this now, hold on. One person is more mindful, present, and aware of their surroundings, more mindful of um, how they say things, when they say things, and the other person may not be here. So that's what I got from that. I do feel between the two of you, someone has more um, shedding to do, and it may be you, Earth signs. There's more shedding to do. There's more um, of an energy of letting something go that you may have held on to for quite some time, it's stubborn energy. You keep trying to shake it and it still keeps showing up in different ways. So just give it time, but continue to show up for yourself. <clears throat> I don't know why I feel like, like the two of you may even look alike, or you, when you begin to look alike, this is when you know you really have spent a lot of time with someone. But I feel like you may look alike here have a lot of the same features okay and you're drawn to one another one person is drawn drawn uh more from the sacral area and the other person is drawn more from the root okay so there may be an energy here That may be what is being repressed or has been repressed. Things that have to do with your, uh, we're going to say that's you, even if it's not, okay? Just for the sake of this story. So you may be <clears throat> breaking a lot of um, generational cycles, um, get becoming rerooted in what your beliefs are, what your desires are, what your goals are, like a huge um, restructuring of you, which is restructuring your DNA. I have pockets on here and this make me feel, I like these, these shoulders. Move forward. Now, so I believe that you, you're working with your root chakra, working on a lot of things there, even though this is a sacral chakra uh, card. And the other person is working more on their sacral or they have, they have work to do in their sacral. That's what I feel. So it could be vice versa, but I really feel like Right? So you're opening up to um, what it is that you truly want. How does that work? What is that? What does it look like? Right? So let's just clarify. Excuse 
excuse me. Yeah. Being more logical and straightforward. If you've been feeling uh, more in your head and not knowing, trying to make sense of certain things and how you will move, there may have been some type of stagnation or just um, being in a space of not wanting what has been offered. Now it's time for you to um, connect the mind and the heart. Of course, we have the crown chakra here as well. There's two sevens here as well. Um, so it's time for some things to end. It's time for a new way of life. You're trying not to do things that will um, put you in a space of regret and remorse. You're trying to prevent yourself from having to go down the same path that you've gone down before. Um, I feel as though... Some of you may even be deciding if you're going to go to court or you're, if you're giving up on some type of case, but there's going to be a change. There's going to be some type of um, the judge is very stern in his decision. And OK, so the judge or someone who is in a judge, I can't say judgmental, someone who has the authority, this is an authority figure to make a decision, maybe very cold maybe very um, stuck in their ways. They may be trying to offer you something, whether it's a, um, you may take it back to court, like you may appeal a decision. You don't want what's being offered. You know that there's more to life. You know that there has to be more. So that's that sacred energy coming up. If you haven't, um, if you haven't, Go ahead and um, do a guided meditation, binaural beats, chant, do your affirmations in the morning, um, write out your goals, go ahead and set those and see wh which way it goes, even if you just have to just start, just start writing about something small that you may want to obtain or uh, what have you. Because I do feel that that will work also in your honor, because I keep hearing your honor. Judge, right? I also feel that someone is afraid to be judged in a certain situation. In order to see things clearly, they need to open their crown chakra overall because they may be using too much logic again, um, not wanting to see things um, if it's not textbook, right? There's a lot of knowledge with you sitting under a tree. There's a lot of knowledge coming that will be coming to you, a lot of information coming to you. You may even get your downloads around a tree. So as you, with you being an earth sign, they're saying that you need to get grounded, take more walks, eat more green vegetables, vitamins here, because you're coming out of a cold state, whatever that means to you, but you're coming out of the cold and into the warmth. And by coming out of the cold and into the warmth, what is happening here is that you're going to begin to see things differently. You are also revisiting a lot of things that have happened to you in the past when it comes to um, the love that you, um, the way that you love and how you have put out the energy of love here. Thank you. <clears throat> a lot of you have gone through so much here. Have a dark past, right? Behind him is all this darkness. So you may be coming out of that and that's where you are realizing that the way that you viewed things or the way that you went, the way that you saw things or um, there was no fulfillment in the way that you were doing things. So now you're coming, maybe you're going through a midlife crisis or someone in your life is going through it. And now you are witnesses, witnessing this through them. And they may even offer you some type of advice if it's someone outside of you. But if it is you, I feel like your wisdom comes with you opening up more to the divine. Know that you are divinely directed and divinely protected and sitting with it. Um, here. Whatever it is that has happened in the past has um, caused you to create, uh, it, it created, you created a wall. You created this huge brick wall. You don't want nobody to come in and you've been shutting down and cutting folks out. You may even be um, needing, okay, so you're cutting people out and, and now you're realizing that your ways have brought you to the point brought you to the space where you are so you are ready to change and it's a slow unpacking that will happen now for some of you there is someone in your life who may have um, early onset alzheimer's or alzheimer's or dementia here they their, their diet has changed the way they don't need to eat 
they don't want to anyway but they may not be wanting to eat and you're wanting some help but you want a certain type of help and there's no assistance here i just feel like you are um, constantly um, having to be a caretaker or a caregiver you are uh, constantly having to um if you know you've had to do so much in your past that it kind of hardened you in certain areas it kind of caused you to have a narrow mind set when it comes to certain things you need everything to make sense so maybe that's where that alzheimer and dementia comes in as well how that correlates is up to you earth signs i feel like if you ask me it just feels as though you don't want to be stuck in the past anymore because when you think about Alzheimer, Alzheimer's or dementia, a lot of times, <laughs> wait, a lot of times um, people can revert back to their younger life. They can revert back to and live in a space lucidly, um, back to um, uh, their favorite times or times where they were really hurt, whatever it is that they attach to. So I feel like you are trying to re restructure and re and reevaluate your life with this crown chakra. Um, chanting Om will help you a lot to open up. Some of you may even want to um, do uh, try and meditate more. Uh, focus on your breathing throughout the day. Pull back from certain situations. When it, These situations are in your head, though. These aren't actually things that are happening outside of you. These are the, the you know, you want to be mindful of the things that you are thinking throughout the day. That's what they said. Told you, seven of cups, six of coin in reverse. So what I'm getting from this is that that space of delusion, that space of not, when you're not fully connected to source, the one, the most high, the creator, God, however, whatever you believe by. When you are not fully created, connected to your star player, when you are not fully con connected on a regular basis, you become tied up in this, three, this third dimension. You begin to look at things only for what you can see. You begin to um, be somewhat under the space, um, in a state of delusion. It can, you can, you can see things that are not there. Once you are trained up, you'll know what's really there and what's not and what need to turn its ass about your space and what not and what you need to go through and so, so on and so forth. You are your best counsel. Now, <clears throat> this is opening you up to uh, the giving and receiving, you see. You may have pulled back from doing certain things, doing things a certain way because you may not have felt appreciated. There may have been expectation versus appreciation when it comes to what you do for people, right? People were expecting you to do certain things and not appreciating the things that you are doing. So you are pulling back from that. It's time to stop looking. They want you to stop looking at things with the six of coin in reverse, um, as though there, there will never be this um, equal give and take. There will never be a balance or there will never be harmony with your finances there won't be any um like whoever this is that may have this weight on them because it may just be metaphorical weight right a burden that needs to be lifted how do i do that what what will it take for me to do that i've tried i've depleted all my resources how can i do this who can who will help me what what well you gotta open up a little bit right there i feel like many of you will go into a space where you when your crown does open you want to make sure that you ground yourself because it's easy to become flighty. It's easy to have like feeling as though you have vertigo. It's easy to allow all of these different things in here. Um, all of these different opportunities and options that may not even truly be available. So you want to stay connected. You want to have conversations with your angels, ancestors, or what have you. So that you and your, your spirit guides, baby, the gatekeepers. So that you will be able to... Um, be consistent with your growth and turn this six of coin over because i feel like you may have even like something is going to be revealed to you about some type of inheritance or some type of money that was spent in the wrong space and now you are going and it'll send you into this tailspin where you cannot understand or or you um are trying to think of all these different ways to get money or all these different ways to recoup all these different ideas all you know some of you may even try and do certain spells or what have you it's, it's all about you 
clearing out this sacral, opening up that sacral so that you'll know what it is that you truly want. Because if not, you don't know what you truly want and you'll just go into that tailspin as well. Um, when you open that crown chakra, it's going to be very important for you to ground yourself so that you won't go into the seven of cups and be under the illusion of, yep, that now you got to protect yourself. Now you have to stand on guard. Now you have to go ahead and cut out this, that, and the other, but you may be cutting out the wrong thing. So you want to get connected so you'll know what is what you need to block, what you need to cut out, the nouns. What do you really need to do and stand your ground? You want to focus on um, one thing at a time so that you will be able to accomplish the goals that you have set forth to accomplish. I feel as though um, there may be a lot of people uh, uh, saying bad things or doing bad things towards you. There may be um, some energy vampires here, maybe one or two. And that may be why you are feeling like you need to do some type of work. There may even be, um, you may be in this space here where you um feel as though you have to defend yourself i have to do this and i have to, well you need to get in tune to start playing because everything don't require a response um everyone doesn't uh require a spear and they chase because i would hope you wouldn't stab nobody in the bank earth signs but i'm just seeing here where you are protecting yourself but you are protecting yourself if you it's your life but it would be at best advised i suggest that you um, be mindful of what you, you know, you don't, you be mindful of what it is that you um, respond to or react to moving forward. And you want to be mindful of what you cut out. Because some of you may even get to the space where you are on the defense and there's some help coming and you miss the help because you are under the influence of um, woulda, coulda, shoulda, what is this, what if this, and it's like a cynical uh, energy here because of some things that happened to you in the past. Your connection with money here, your connection with health, your connection with um, giving and receiving again, this is all about receptivity. Being open to receiving what is uh, yours. Being open to receiving so that you will be able to give more, right? Not allowing your past to reflect your future. Now then, what does this say? This mudra assists with inner cycles, fluidity, feminine awakening, okay? It supports your reproductive and urinary health, eases menstrual, PMS, and menopausal symptoms, directs breath to sacrum, lower back, and pelvis. So you'll hold your hands like this, rest your hands, thumbs facing upward in front of the pelvis. Your focus or affirmation will be, I open to the divine feminine within me. I open to the divine feminine within me. Speak with authority, baby. In the crown. This, the meaning of this card, <clears throat> of this symbol, I'm sorry, is infinite. The location is the crown of the head. The sound is so a uh hum. The color is ultraviolet. I would suggest that you put this over your bed, a pillow, a scarf, something that touches you as you sleep and put your um, what the questions that you have under your pillow when you do this so that you will be open to receiving the information necessary for you to move forward or as a preventive me measure. Um, the symbol is a thousand petal lotus flower. The rules, it rules all systems in the pineal gland. The element is space. The qualities are freedom, unity, and lightness, joy. I like it, but that's just me. Now, before we roll up out of here, let me give you this right here. One more card. Why oh, that growth is something else. Let me taste. Growth is something else. Nobody said growth was going to be easy. You're going to have all these obstacles and challenges, but shit. Show up for yourself. The road will be smoother eventually. One thing about cutting out the energy. Energy, some people that you attach to don't know how to stop. Period. Now, it says share the, share the message of love. And this is a daffodil. So daffodils may be um, very important to you or begin to be. I like daffodils because they remind me of very silky clothing. 
for some reason. Uh, rivers of love flow within you and others may benefit from this healing energy. Be mindful of each word that passes your lips. I like it, honey. Y'all already know it's late 30, okay? Gotta get it done. If we don't do it, who gonna do it? Hmm? I don't know, babe. I love you. Bye.